you know, I'm not an expert on this, but it just seems to me that the great cities of the world are not places that you reside in, but places that you live in, that you, that you fully and completely experience every day. And I commend you for putting your time and investing in trying to somehow unravel the mystery of what the Edmonton of tomorrow and the future is going to be. And I'm sure it will be uh, profoundly positive and very exciting and that you'll look back on the time you're in now and, and feel very good about how you went about uh, doing this. The lessons are, number one, have a belief that you can. And don't listen to those that say you can't. There are too many great examples. You can. And it's, it, it's in your hands to determine what it is that you want, to have that belief. But the second one is you have to trust people. You have to let the public in. You have to decide that you are prepared to work that hard, to make this about everyone, to allow every person to get their fingers in the clay, to be part of this magic that you're trying to create. You can't just build buildings and think that that's going to leave behind a great legacy. Yes, it'll leave a legacy. Sure it will, and, it'll, and you'll talk about it, but what, what really, the, the legacy you want is the human one, the one that touches your life, inspires people, makes you want to be a better citizen, makes you want to, you know, give more. Here's the thing, here is the thing. This will be as great as you decide it's going to be. The magic is in the effort. It's, in the, in, it's the power of uniting people. When I look back at the games and I think about the arguments, the things we fought over, and I look at the result, and I, you, you realize that, that at the end of every great human endeavor, there is a reward. This is a terrific, look at this place. This is a fantastic city. And it's for you to decide what you are going to claim and then go get it. I know you will. Thank you for having me. This was a lot of fun.